Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgamerguru.com. Today I'm working in Affinity Designer to show you how to use the compound function to create a monogram. Affinity Designer offers a bunch of approaches to create an effect like this. Usually you would go in with Boolean operations. The problem is they are no longer editable and they are destructive. Once you convert them to curves and cut one bit out of the other, you end up with vector shapes rather than text, which makes editing a lot harder. When I break this count sample apart, we have the M, we have the S, and we have a duplicate of the S with an outline. In this case, I used the contour tool to create that outline and make the second S bigger or fatter in order to create the cutout space. The contour works within the compound tool while a stroke won't work and will get lost as all the elements within the compound have the same fill and stroke attributes. Looking at the compound tool, there are the three elements the two versions of the S and the letter M below. If I look at the lower S, it is set to subtract. It will cut out of the layers below, which in this case is just the one layer with the M. And the second S is put on top with the normal add. The advantage of the compound tool is I can add effects to it. I can export it as one vector shape to SVG or EPS without problems. I can still change the font size, the font weight, the position without having to rework everything from the start as I would if I used Boolean operations to do the cutouts. Let's start a new project and create two letters. Using the artistic tool I put a Capital A on the screen, I changed the font to Times New Roman, a standard Windows serif font. Duplicate the A and change it to the D, so both letters have the same font attributes. I create a duplicate of the letter D and give it a contour. The contour will be the part that gets cut out of the A to make the D more visible. I combine the three letters with the layer create compound function. It adds all the layers together and in the layer stack I see a compound object now which has no fill and no stroke. I give it a wide fill and change the 1D to be a subtract rather than the automatic end, which creates the gap between the two letters. And I can still adjust it going in with the contour tool. I can make it thicker or thinner, or go in and change the radius manually and put the number I want in there. If I move the letters, I should move the two D's together. You can see that the cut will happen immediately and I can place the two D's wherever I want. I could change the font now without problem because as you can see in the layer panel, they are still considered text and not curves. So they're easy to edit. I can also add more elements like a rectangle on top to make the A appear to be on top of the D in that part and another rectangle below that is the cutout so I edit to the compound and set it to subtract rather than add and now the D comes through the A and it's all one object. I can add outer shadows and 3D or bevel to it it will be assigned to the compound, not the elements inside the compound. Affinity Designer treats the compound layer as one curve, so all the effects apply to all the elements inside, and the export will be as one object if you export to SVG or EPS. Yet the whole design remains fully editable within Affinity Designer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something new today, hit the like button to celebrate your new bit of knowledge. To help you remember everything you've learned even better, subscribe to the channel, 
Let me know what you'd like to see on this channel or on my website in the comments below and I hope to see you again soon.